Hello guys, this is Iris here from VIP Kid, uh, giving you guys an update on the last um, 42 days. I'm on 42 days of VIP Kid now. Uh, sorry about I didn't record last week and the week before that. I almost skipped like two weeks of videos. Mostly because I was about to travel, so I spent a lot of time cleaning the house, finding pet sitters, and packing for the trip. So, you know, it was a little bit ha handicappy. Um, so here I am, coming back to tell you guys the last two weeks what you guys have missed. Um, the last two weeks, there's some good and some bad uh, to it. The good thing is I got 35 five Apple feedback from parents. So that's really nice news. And I also find a program called ManyCamp, which really help with your uh, teaching, especially when you're traveling. As you can see, this is my travel setup. It's pretty basic compared to my regular setup. But with the ManyCamp, it, it works fabulous. This this worked perfect. Um, another thing that was good is I not understand how uh, the program works a lot better, I understand and um, write feedback faster, the students seem to be doing well, I'm doing a different technique, a different age group and different gender, it seems to be working really really good. So that's really good news. Uh, the bad news in the last two weeks is I'm really seeing the dynamic um, in the booking. So last time when I come to you guys was when I finished my phonic classes and I had a lot a swamp of phonic classes that uh, swamped in. Uh, to give you a quick rundown in case people that haven't watched the series, uh, my first time I got the first phonic program certified on the week four, I had 29 classes finished that week. By week five, I was basically fully bone all my openings, basically, not 100%. Um, I got 40 some classes on, on week five. On week six, because I took um, one or two days off, uh, I took a Wednesday and a Thursday off, I got a total of 29 classes. And on last, uh, I flew last week, and this week I am traveling. So I started uh, teaching remotely from Friday onward till today. Today is uh, Wednesday. So, yeah, so last week I had 29 altogether. This week, so far, I only got 18. But I'm not working this weekend because I'm traveling again. I'll be flying another trip. So that could be one of the reasons why I affected those numbers. But if you're looking at as a whole, the spot I opened also didn't book um, as much. So let's just say the percentage why let's just say I was fully booked 80% of the spot. Now it's like 50%, you know, and on certain days there is more, certain days there's less. So it's really hard to guess, you know, exactly what's going on. Uh, so... The good and the bad is out there. I mean, it is a part-time side gig job. It is not something you can rely on. And I'm guessing, you know, for me, I'm traveling. So in August, maybe a lot of students are traveling too. So that could be another reason why. And uh, another thing I think affected my booking was I had a couple of students that did a priority request. They wanted to have classes with me on certain days while I'm traveling, which like on days I'm flying, which obviously I cannot do because I'm flying. And I don't want to risk it, having an unstable classroom. So I just say no. And I said, I think two or three no's. I said one or two yes, but half of them were no. I do think that affected my booking as well, because at the end of the day, um, obviously when VIP kids have good teachers and students request you, they want you to, to take in these students to the best of your ability. So yeah. So, so far it's been good. I mean, it's been, I'm not an upset with whatever is happening because it is still a sci, you know, part-time um, deal. So for all that matters, uh, to me, it's still good. It just, if don't rely on it, it's not a stable income whatsoever. It kind of more just, you know, helps you with a couple of dollars here and there uh, kind of deal. So that's it. That's about all the stuff that I missed the last two weeks. Is I'm traveling. It works. Uh, you can do this job while you while you while you're moving around. Uh, it does affect your booking, and it it is a very fun job. It is good and everything else. Um, just do not expect a very stable um, income from this thing. So so far, I'll just give you a quick uh, glance towards the near future here. I'm not working uh, this coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So obviously that's going to be a little bit slow, but for the week after that, from Monday to Sunday, I am working uh, that week, except I'm not working on Monday and Tuesday. I'm working Friday to Sunday every single week. So, so far, as of right now, because parents can already book those slots. So these are all pre-booked slots. Uh, I have, let me just quickly count. 
I have 10. I have 10 students booked in at this point in time. Again, parents can already book it. So I'm not getting the frenzy like people are saying. But again, it is summer and I'm traveling. My, my schedule is not very stable. From what I understand, parents can see uh, your, your future uh, availability for a month. So think about it. If you're just a new student, they just got to know a new teacher and then you look at her next month's schedule it's like oh some days she doesn't work friday to sunday some days she doesn't work monday and tuesday some days she doesn't work wednesday you know i i think that affect a, a parent's judgment as well how um stable this teacher mean in, in the future so i'm not you know i'm not at all worry about it because in my opinion i think they're right and i do think it is it is a, a, a thing that will affect their decision making but yeah, uh, after all that, I think things are doing very well and I'll give you guys another update when I go back home. Have a lovely day. Bye.